suffer from migraines, and you already know they are much, much more than a really bad headache. For more than 30 million Americans, they can even be debilitating. But here's some good news. There are ways that you can get control of them, even manage them. Tonight, we've got Elaine McCardle in, uh, one of the women behind the book, The Migraine Brain, Your Breakthrough Guide to Fewer Headaches. We've got the book here. Uh, very interesting read. I started reading it because, as I've just told you, I, I have this problem. And so many people out there do. I know that they're looking for any type of rescue from this. So what can you tell them? Well, the um, best thing you can do is, is keep a headache diary and try to figure out what triggers your migraines because everyone's different. It can be anything from a lot of stress to hormones to changes in the weather, strong perfumes. So you have to figure out what your triggers are and see if you can avoid them. But you can't avoid all of them. You can't avoid changes in the weather, in, in which case you have to look at treatments that will work. Yeah, that, that was sort of where I was going from there. Sometimes you really can't stop the stresses in your life. Sometimes you, you can't get away from those perfumes in the elevator. So what can you do when you can't avoid one of these triggers? Well, there are wonderful new treatments. There are drugs that people probably have heard of called um, triptans, and, and they go by the names of Imitrex and Maxalt and Relpax, and they work really well for a lot of people um, because migraine is not a kind of headache. It's an abnormal brain chemistry, and these drugs were specifically designed to interrupt a a, uh, biochemical chain reaction and to address all the symptoms of migraine. So they work very well for people, most people. Some people can't take them if you're pregnant or if you have heart conditions and some other folks. Um, and there are other drugs, they're preventive drugs. If you get a lot of migraines, you can take drugs uh, every single day that will prevent them. But they don't work for everyone because, again, people are all different. Yeah, and, and, and as you told me before our interview, there's not really a typical migraine sufferer. E everybody has sort of a different scenario when they're talking about their migraine. Right? That's right. And so we have in the book um, a migraine makeover that everybody can do. You figure out your own triggers. You figure out your own symptoms. You figure out what treatments work for you. Um, and there's a workbook there that will help you partner with your own doctor to figure out how you can get better. And you talk about finding your triggers. And you also mentioned keeping a diary. What's the best way to set that up? Well, we have one in the book, so that makes it easy for you. There are also uh, migraine diaries online. Um, and one thing that we really emphasize is wellness, taking care of yourself, um, putting your health first so that you get enough sleep, you eat right, you exercise, you drink enough water, try to reduce your stress. Uh, these things won't prevent migraines entirely, but they'll reduce how many you get and how bad you feel when you get them. And you're actually, if folks want to learn more, they can buy the book, but they can also come out and check you out at Centenary. You're going to be out there talking tomorrow. Is tomorrow.